The Student Innovator Program is funded by the Sheikh Zayed Institute, and the Sheikh Zayed Institute was established in 2009 through a generous gift from the government of Abu Dhabi to create innovation to make pediatric surgery pain-free, less invasive, and more precise. The goal of the program is to engage young students in learning the newest technology in healthcare and medicine to improve the care of children and really prepare them for a future in a knowledge-based economy. They work with mentors in bioengineering, in clinical medicine, primarily surgery. In the Student Innovation Program at Children's, the mentors play many different roles. The main role is to serve a guide for the students who come from all over the world. The most important thing that I learned from my mentor is to be patient. So when you are solving a problem, don't expect to get the solution immediately. You have to learn from your mistakes until you get the answer. I think the main thing that we hope the students take away is an appreciation of real-world biomedical engineering problems. In the classroom, students are often given a textbook problem, and then they either get the answer right or wrong. In the real world, one of the big issues is defining the problem and exactly what problem you're trying to attack and then the solution can have many different forms. The most thing that I love in this program is they are giving us opportunity to attend a surgery. So I have attended a lot of surgery like open cardiology surgery. I also attend a robotic surgery with a Da Vinci. It's something to read about things and intellectualize them, but then when you actually experience them and touch them, it makes everything a lot more tangible. Well, the challenge for this year is designing a dashboard for the neonatal intensive care unit. So the student innovators, we have like a set of criteria from the actual nurses who work there of what they think should be displayed. So we're designing the concept and our ideas will be implemented into a software. One of my students, Sarah, is working on a biofeedback monitoring program and this program is aimed at helping patients in pain better self-manage their pain through controlling their breathing rate. When I'm working here, I can see it implemented. It's not just a theoretical skills, so I can work through some project, take it to the doctors, implement it with them, take some feedbacks from them, so it's really given me a great experience. So we do have a voice to be listened to, and people really care enough to give you a chance to be heard. I think it's important to train the next generation of researchers, and I think most of us who are mentors get a lot of personal satisfaction out of helping the students as well. And sometimes you think you know the answer to a problem, and the students will ask you a very simple question, and it makes you think about whether you really know the answer or not, or you just repeat some answer you, you read in the textbook once. So I do think the students can also help you stretch your horizons. And there is a whole future out there for young people that isn't necessarily a clinical medical career. Um, on the other side, for clinicians and doctors with innovation and technology and the fast, rapid turnover in science, a lot of new things are possible and happening. And we're going to be leaping forward uh, at astounding rates in the next decade.